I'm, I hope uh, uh, the ideas that I that I put forward here, uh, you like them well enough to 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 give it a try by yourself. So I will, uh, given that that the, the lunch is immediately after this presentation, I will not try to keep your stomachs uh, um, from from going to lunch because I I see it myself sometimes in presentations, and uh, I will I will show demos, uh, but I, I want to also take time because that's that's what conferences are good for. Uh, take time to to throw some ideas and and give enough time for discussions because that's. That's uh, from my point of view what, what conferences are good for. So um, first, a little bit of, of the, the agenda. Uh, besides the introduction, uh, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk about how how did I get how I got here. How uh, I will ask a little bit how what your background is to to adjust a little bit the, the presentation. And then how we all got here from uh, from the computing perspective. I will be very brief in this sense, and then uh, it, that's a base uh, to talk about software development, and then uh, introducing business processes, and introducing the the BPMN 2.0, uh, a, a notation for business processes, and then uh, meet activity and also some some forms of activity, and then. Finally, uh, as I said before, to, to dedicate enough time for any questions that pop up. Um, on the technical side, uh, I, I'm not fond of showing a lot of code because at least when I sit in, on, the, on, on that side, it's difficult for me to follow so many lines of code. So I will give references and show uh, some demos, uh, point to GitHub repos, and uh, I will, you have my email address. I will publish later this, uh, this Presentation on uh, Twitter, at least with the Dev Fest and and the and the B keywords, so you can find it there. And uh, you have my email address, so please, uh, if you encounter any uh, blogs uh, when getting in contact yourself with with Activity, do not hesitate to write to me. Or also, I will also point where Activity forums are. Okay, so first, some notes about myself. Uh, I'm Barcelonian. Uh, I'm from Barcelona by birth, uh, European by choice since the last 12 years. I've been living in uh, three countries around Europe, Stockholm, Sweden, Dublin, Ireland, and since four years I'm uh, very happy to live here in Vienna. Um, experience, my, most, most of my experience is working with, with small companies that uh, develop products. So uh, that's, that's also one of the ideas I, I want to bring forward. Uh, developing a product, uh, how, how many of you have experience developing a software product? Uh, not, uh, well not, I'm not putting consulting down, but uh, there are two main uh, business areas and one would be developing a product that you, you release and then so your customers, either uh, consumers or other companies use or, uh, or you provide consulting, like consulting uh, services like uh, developing uh, developing for other companies some some small or parts of a product but you are not responsible for developing the product so actually many of you had experience developing a product or so you know what it takes to polish uh, this this last what it this last 20 percent that takes uh, 150 percent of, of of your effort to, to polish a product and that's that's one of the uh, the ideas I also want to bring um, later please bring it up in, in the discussion that when you want to develop a product you you want to reuse uh, as much building blocks as you as you can. Uh, I, I consider myself, maybe it's wrong, maybe, maybe I don't know, but I consider myself uh, inoculated against the not, not invented here syndrome and uh, I, I have a proudly find somewhere attitude in the sense that uh, um, I, I, want, I, I am very careful not to be reinventing the wheel when I'm when I'm part of a project that wants to deliver one such a product, and and, and, and that's why that's what that's how I came uh, to Activity some years ago, and, and that's what attracts me a lot to Activity. And um, here uh, I'm a Java in parentheses ecosystem developer, so I consider Java as an ecosystem, the the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine on the bottom, and yes. Uh, Java, the language, is, is the main citizen there, but uh, 
there are other citizens and other frameworks, and, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy actually that there's such a thriving ecosystem on the, on the, on the Java and the JVM running on top of it. Um, disclosure, uh, the company that, that I work for uh, is partnered with Camunda and Signavio, which is two companies that I will mention uh, later. Uh, at the same time, uh, I like the products and what they do so much that, uh, um, that me together with a friend, we started some months uh, ago this little company together and, and we, are, we are happy to, to, to work with them. Um, so one, some, some questions, how, how, have you, how many of you have experience with, uh, with Java development? Because I've heard very bad comments about Java before during the, the first two presentations. So actually, quite quite a bit. Uh, and how many of you are familiar with integration projects? Integration in the sense we have a CRM system, or we have a. Okay, good, great. Let's have a. How we, we have a good conversation afterwards. And uh, how many of you are familiar with Activity already, or JVPM, or other business process engines? Okay, great. Uh, which ones? Okay, I don't, I don't know that one. Which? JVPM. JVPM, okay. Which version? Okay, we, we, we can talk later in the, in the discussion also the, the, the relationship between activity and, and JVPM because there is a relationship. And okay, so let's, let's move forward actually. So uh, I asked you how, how did you guys get here? I also said, I talked a little bit about how did I get here now? Uh, I just uh, I always I always like to to uh, to look at the bigger context. Why wh what am I doing here? Maybe I'm 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 too Freudian, but since I live in Vienna, it, that's I, I guess that's that's uh, quite accepted. So uh, what is a computer? Um, oh wow, thanks. Uh, what is what is a computer? So from 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 all of these pictures, well, this one is easy, or uh, but. Uh, this is my favorite calculator, by the way, in the, in the middle. It's an HP 48 programmable, so it's also a computer. Um, these ones uh, are not considered, from today's point of view, a computer. Why? Because they, they were not general purpose. So a computer is a, is, a, is a machine that can be basically programmed, and this is considered to be the actual uh, first prototype of a computer that uh, from the 80, 1830s by Charles Babbage. I probably you you guys have heard about it uh, about him already. Never built at the same time while while preparing this presentation. There is a project now, so they they are going to to build it, which I find really amazing. Um, this is actually the first a picture of the first uh, the first digital computer. Okay. Uh, the ENIAC from the from 1946. How? What does the light come out? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, it seems it seems that flexible plug-in architectures are not that new uh, after all. <laughs> okay. uh, so this is, a, a, this is an example of a hello world in assembly language for the for the Intel X86 uh, and Java. And what I wanted to point out here is the, the, the concepts. So it's not about lines of code, but it's, it's about the concepts you're dealing with when, develop, when developing. So here we have, uh, on the Java side, we have uh, the concept of a string uh, and the concept of printing to the, to the, to the, to the console, to the out uh, channel. And, uh, Basically, is that the level of abstraction at what at what you can develop, and that's that's basically the idea here. I will tie this up with the so you will know why I'm I'm, I'm mentioning this. Um, and just to fi to to finish this phase is uh, this actually I saw this uh, quote from uh, from the from Thomas J Watson. Actually, it's misattributed, but I saw it from the from the Vienna Museum of Technology in a bus stop uh, two days ago. But they don't say it's mis misattributed there, actually. So I did some research. And, and uh, actually, uh, he was right. 
So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so what we what we started before to see with this plugin architecture, uh, the the meaning of the word computer has been changing and probably. Uh, will keep on changing, okay? And that's, the, that's what's amazing about the profession and the, and the field we, we, work, we work in. Um, basically, if you, if you would like to know more, there, there is this book. Actually, you have to find it in secondhand shops, uh, but I got it for six euros uh, about a month ago. So it's a very good book, uh, very cheap, which is a, it's rare nowadays. And also, it's a, it's a very, very cool uh, documentary, uh, which is based on this book. And, uh, these ideas I, I just mentioned uh, are definitely expanded in this documentary. So, so we've seen that uh, the level at which we, well, we or, or our four developers and programmers were developing, uh, the, the level of abstraction has, ri has raised. Okay, we had the assembler. Well, first, first of all, we had the plugin architecture with the with the wires. Then we had the, the, the assembler, and then uh, we had, nowadays in, in the Java world, we have Java, uh, we have classes, we have packages, we have jar files, and um, those, those are the concepts that, that, the, that the technologies we use uh, support. And, um, and to connect this to the first two talks, uh, most, most of you were in the previous Bitcoin J and the, and the PayPal presentation. So to connect, to connect, uh, to connect it with uh, what I'm saying now, with the previous two talks, uh, imagine yourself you have to build an application that wants to use a payment system, okay? And that's that's at the level I'm doing this presentation in the sense that you're you're building uh, an application, you're talking with customers, and and one of your building blocks will be a payment system, and uh, you will you would like to offer. Uh, the users of your application, either Bitcoin J, uh, Bitcoin, sorry, Bitcoin J is, a, is, a, is an implementation, but Bitcoin or PayPal or, or, or bank, uh, uh, bank wiring or, or credit card. So, it didn't work, the, 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 so I just want to present the question first. Uh, so, is software development an individual activity? What do, what do you guys think? No, no opinion? Well, my opinion is it depends, and it depends on the context. So if you're, if you're building an implementation of the Bitcoin J protocol, or, or um, I was going to say now low level, but please don't interpret this, the, the semantics of this word as, oh, that's just low level. Okay, I'm a developer myself. So I, I, what I meant is as one of the, of, the build, of the building blocks that your application uses. So if you're, if you're implementing... Uh, um, in software uh, protocol or a specification, that, that might be an individual activity, okay? Uh, the, the issue is that in, in, mo in most companies nowadays you have to develop... Uh, exactly, so uh, you have to develop code. So here there is a quote from Ma Martin Fowler, one of, my, one of my, my heroes of the profession, and he says, any fool can write code that a computer can understand. Good programmers write code that humans can understand. And the, the, the key question here is which code and to do what exactly. So when we are implementing a, a specification uh, or a protocol, um, the issues, there are always issues. I, I, probably you, you all guys know, you, uh, we think that the, the 255 uh, pages and, and, and 300 of appendixes uh, define the whole all the all the cases, but we all find that that's not the the case sometimes. But the key question is here: which code and to do what exactly? And probably you you've seen already this uh, this diagram, and uh, it's yeah, it's a funny diagram, but it's, uh, at least it's a reality of, of of that that I'm used to, or or maybe I'm the only one here. <laughs> Why? Because exactly how the customer explained it, and that's that's the point. How how the customer explained it, and we all we probably all have heard the, the phrase of uh, yeah, the customer doesn't know what uh, they they don't know what they want. Okay, but that's that's the reality. They don't have to, at least from my point of view, they don't have to know what they want because we or or the company we work for has to help them find find that out. 
and probably they're, they're working in an environment as we see nowadays in which uh, the rules no longer apply. I mean, I have experience in the energy trading uh, <coughs> business, so that means trading uh, financial products on, on energy, basically, oil, power, and uh, I have a, a, a working colleague who moved to, to Germany, and he said that, uh, that since uh, half a year ago, they, they meet every morning uh, for coffee, and then they flip some coins and decide, okay, how are we going to trade today? Because basically, the markets are so crazy that all the, all, the, all the heuristics and all the algorithms that existed before about, well, if, if the, the price of oil is here, then that means that the price of this other instrument will be between this. Okay, then you buy. That, that no longer works. So, so that's why the, the customer explains it as, as, as well as they, they know. And, and, and it, there's nothing to, for them to blame. Uh, I don't know if I, I will, will be able to. But um, here we have different phases. And then here, the, uh, how the project leader understood it. That's another participant of a, of, a, of, a, of a project, of a software project. How the analyst designed it, uh, how the programmer uh, wrote it. I can also read it here. And, and how the different participants, uh, what, what, what was their perspective in, in this whole project? Okay, and this is what the, the, the customer really needed. Uh, I'm not really sure about this because actually customers usually want to get as much as, much as they want for, for their money, which I think uh, we, we, all, uh, we all want. So um, that, was, that was enterprise software development, and this is the large-scale large enterprise software development. I think does it capture your feeling if you've been in a, in a uh, this is a great picture by the way, and the original actually, it's here at the Kunsthistorisches Museum. And uh, I've, I've been oftentimes in this museum only to watch this picture. Because obviously, uh, may I ask who, who do you think this guy is? In a software, in a large scale software project? <laughs> what? <laughs> the? Yeah, but the question is, there are, there are, it's, it represents at least what, what we see in, in project. There are different perspectives, different needs, different ways of describing what we think is the same, the same thing, but we end up, hopefully we will end up with something like this, because that means we've, we've, we've built something. Uh, <laughs> well, I think we've all read uh, results about the, the success factor of software development projects in our industry, or? So, um, why is this? Well, one of the answers is that every participant speaks a different language here. I should put language in, in, in double quotes. That means they, they, they have different per perspectives and we all developers complain, ah, but the salespeople and blah, blah, blah. And the, but, but that's okay because we have different specializations and, and we just have to find a way of, of getting together. And this is a comic, by the way, I, I, like, I like a lot. It's, it's, a, it's an understanding comics uh, book. And it explains it in three pictures, uh, what one of the main hum uh, problems of humanity are, is, is that we, uh, unlike some, some alien races which can communicate uh, mentally via telepathy, we, we need to either talk or draw before our idea has to, has to, has to arrive on the, other, on the other side. And the, the, the problem is that, uh, the issue is that uh, actually, the idea or the, 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 what arrives on the other side is usually loaded with, uh, with interpretations. And an example of it, of it is what I just meant before when I, when I said uh, Bit, Bitcoin, J or PayPal would be a lower level. Some, some of you developers, if I would have not made this, uh, this, um, this explanation, would have, thought, would have made an interpretation of, ah, oh, that's not important. Okay, which actually it's, it's very important because if, if that implementation doesn't exist, the application cannot accept payments. But um, okay, moving forward, um, different people, different languages, okay, and different perspectives. We have software developers, we have customers, we have system administrators who are wor wor their worry is how to maintain this application running, how to take care that uh, after two years a database with millions of records, uh, the application keeps on keeps on performing, uh, product owners, product owners or project owners or project leads, as, as you mentioned before, uh, they, they want this product or this project to be more or less successful and finished. Business analysts who, who will talk 
with the customers. They know the, the field in which the customers uh, work. They understand the, la the, 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 the vocabulary that the customer is using just yeah, very normal and okay, well, what, is, what is this and what is that? So, and, um, and support. So once your application uh, or the, your product is installed, system administrator have installed everything, everybody's happy, uh, successful software lives almost forever, okay? Uh, actually, I was checking later when I, this ENIAC picture, it was in, in 1946, so they turned it off in 1965, I think, so, so, 90s, yeah, 1960s, so, which is, I find it, I find it amazing, because when you, when you see, just, you see, you, you think like, ah, this lasted for five, five seconds, and then everything blew, and, but no, it, uh, almost 20 years. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's check it later. Uh, so, what is a business process? That's that's one of the definitions uh, that I took from Wikipedia. So, it's a sequence of related, uh, structured, uh, more or less activities or tasks that produce a specific service or product, serving a particular goal for a particular customer or customers. Basically, it's it's a sequence of things to do by different people and uh, with different roles, uh, roles in regards to this, of, of this application. And here I've already used a way, a specific way of, of, uh, of drawing a process. Okay? There are, other, there are other ways. And how many of you remember UML activity diagrams? Okay? That, that would be a way of drawing uh, what a piece of software needs to do. Okay, this is another one, and I will explain later. Hopefully, uh, well, I will explain how, why, why, why this is a, a better way to express uh, what an application needs to do at a at a at a higher level. Here we see um, here we see uh, actually um, it's it's the German version, uh, but anyway we we see that. A message, or let, let's let's move to the next slide. Um, here we see different things to be done. This symbol, I will I will come back to it later, but it indicates a human task, whereas this one here would indicate a a, a service or an automated task. Um, but different pools will will indicate different roles. What the, the point I want to make is that if, if a business analyst is meeting a customer, uh, do we agree that the customer will, will think that it understands more or less uh, what we're talking about better than, for instance, with a UML activity diagram? If I'm wrong, please, uh, somebody says something. So that would be one of the advantages of using such a notation in the sense that it's, it's, it's talking about not about a class or about a group of class, but it's talking about the, the, what the whole application needs, needs to do, okay? Um, so, when would, when would you need, how, how would you, what, what are the characteristics of a, of a business process? Um, the, these are four that I, I took from a, from a, a book that is referenced in the, uh, in, the, in the bottom of the slide, but they are long running, okay? They, they, they can take hours, days, weeks, years. So uh, there are there are some applications that track, for instance, uh, cattle. So when a cow is born, it has to, to be vaccinated after X months. Uh, that would be that would be a, a, a process. Bursty sleeps most of the time. What it means that, uh, as we saw here, in the so so the process will arrive here, and since this is a human task. The, the process will stop there until Stelle uh, bescheiden, until the, the, the position, the job position has to be filled in. And the one having to do it uh, does it. So if you were implementing your, this functionality yourself in Java, you would not have to take care of uh, persisting your instances that you have in memory. What happens if the, if the, what happens if the, if the server goes down? Which, which it, if the process is very long, for sure it will happen. So, as we said before here, uh, you need to persist the state. And uh, 
and you have to coordinate between different different uh, different roles or different people, and, and you have to make decisions. Okay. Here, for instance, it says this activity would be uh, publishing publishing of the job offer. In the case of the two presentations before, uh, you could have here very well uh, process payment. Okay, and at at, at, the le at this level, that's that's all you're interested. Okay. Later, as you see the plus there, later you will you will have sub sub processes that take care of doing processing the payment with PayPal, processing the payment with uh, Bitcoin. But at this level, you're able to to abstract. This is how why we tie up with what I said at the beginning. Um, we abstract that implementation, and we talk here about simple business level uh, concepts. This is a um, this is a, a, um, some of the vocabulary using BPM. I, I don't want because I'm, I'm I think I'm already late, so I I uh, I want to leave enough time for the discussion, but. Some of the words I've already mentioned. See, this is a, a, a user of human task. It, it, it's manual. Uh, this is a decision. In this case, is exclusive. Why? Because there will be only one of the of the out uh, flows will will be taken. Um, one important aspect here, for instance, is that um, the, the job announcement has to be corrected. Somebody has to supervise it, and if if, if they are not they don't agree with it. Uh, BPM and 2.0 allows to for the flow to come back to a previous activity until uh, until it's it's accepted and finally it's approved for publication and it's it's published. So one idea that, that can occur to you is that uh, great, we just need great, you just need to to uh, to learn some new symbols. And then uh, we're done. Similar to uh, to the Matrix when he's learning uh, Kung Fu, Jiu Jitsu just in, in five seconds. Uh, in your dreams, Mr. Anderson. Why? Why? Because we've all already seen these books, in, uh, at least I, I was using them around yeah, years ago about learn, learn Java in, what was it? 30 days or even shorter or 21 days. 21 days exactly. So do you think you can learn Java in 21 days? I have recently seen in seven days. In seven? Yeah. I was looking for some tutorials yesterday and I was like in seven. So 21 is long. <laughs> For all, all people like me. Uh, so now now they learn it in seven days. I <laughs> So uh, why? Um, because another one of the of, of my my heroes. I obviously I understand nothing of what he writes about, but uh, that doesn't mean I I, I don't find it uh, beautiful what he says. Uh, in this case, I understand what he means. But what I meant is the, the art of, of computer programming. It's a book very very often referenced, but uh, very few people have read it. Me among them. Uh, I've tried several times, but I, I get lost on the on the second page. But he says, <laughs> but he says that uh, we all learn best things that we have discovered ourselves, and that's also the point of this presentation, and that's why I meant with a glimpse and a hook. And I hope the the hook is good enough, so so you try to discover activity um, by yourself. So more information. There is a poster. Uh, this is a poster that you can get actually for free. You fill in your your address and. Uh, you can even download for uh, in PDF, but it's it's a very nice poster. So it, actually, it's a DNA two, I think. So so this would be the symbols uh, that Neo thinks uh, it's enough to to memorize, and this would be the counterbalance. Uh, it's a it's a very it's a, it's a it's a book that came out last week. This is one of the this is one of the com the, the the companies I mentioned. In the it's a it's a it's a English translation of a German book. So it's also in German. And uh, the German book is the third edition in the German-speaking. Second Deutsch, uh, uh, the, 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 the German-speaking area. area. Um, it's the book for BPMN. Not only for for the symbols, but what's more important, how how do you fit to fit them together? You can you can read a book about Java, learning Java in seven days, but it takes a lifetime 
to to keep on learning about how to fit these pieces together. And this, this is a, a very good start about VPN, VPMN, the design part of of uh, of business processes. So, just briefly, is this a business process? What do you guys think? Yes? Yeah? Okay. Briefly, just to, um, to say that, uh, no, it's a model of a business process, okay? And never forget this. So, uh, <laughs> because, <laughs> because we sometimes get tied up in, in, in no, no, the, the, the process. And, and, the, and, the, and it's, uh, to make a parallelism from, from Aristoteles, Ptolemy, Copernicus, uh, Newton, uh, Einstein and whoever comes after, I mean, uh, we have a theory of what reality is, but uh, it's incomplete, okay? And maybe Higgs, uh, with the Higgs bosom, starts to appear there. Anyway, so what I want to point out is that all models are incomplete, but they serve their role as common shared understanding, and that's the, that's the whole point of using a model. And this ties up with the, with the diagram, with the, with the different uh, segments of, of English, the... The the, the, the the tree and the so so it v the same in Java um, branch root the 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 no that's that's the swing, some, the swing exactly so um, the point of VPMN 2.0 is to have a model that carries the whole people and all those perspectives until what it's really important is that to ship a to ship a product a software product okay. And uh, exactly, the point is to, to ship, to ship uh, software. And uh, I like, I like uh, a lot this, this quote from, well, I don't like him at all, Donald Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld. But uh, what I like a lot is the, the, the known knowns, the known unknowns, but the, also the unknown unknowns. <laughs> okay? And the more complex the project is, the more unknown unknowns are. So if, if, if you have a way to model your, uh, what the project has to do, what the software has to do, that, that is closer to everybody involved, the more, the more you discover the unknown unknowns early enough, okay? So finally, meet, meet activity. Uh, are we very late or how, how long do we have? Um, so what is activity? Uh, it's a lightweight workflow and business process management platform or engine. I will, I will talk why these two words, engine and platform. It's able to execute BPMN business processes. So if you would have a business process like the one we've, we've shown before, uh, it would be able to interpret it. Okay? And this ties up with, the, with what, I, what, I, what we saw before with the, with the assembly language program and, and Java. Actually, if we if we would if we would de decompile uh, uh, a Java dot class file, we will see something probably longer than the assembler, uh, but it will look very similar. Okay, but we are we are developing at a at a, at a higher level of abstraction. Um, it's for business people, developers, and system admins. So quite a few people, of quite a few participants of what we saw before. Um, it's open source and, and distributed under Apache license 2.0. Um, we will not go into the, to the, the, the discussion about free software and, and open source software, but what, what I mean with the Apache license 2.0 is that it allows you to, to bring it into your proprietary products also. Um, so it, it allows you to develop a product that you don't have to, to make open source, okay? Um, it runs in any Java application or web application server. We will see you can you can embed it in your Swing application or you, in your web application, uh, or you can um, you can have it running as a as an engine in a web application server that other applications access that that engine. And it it, it integrates uh, with Spring, so the configuration is uh, is done with Spring and um, calling. Spring-based services is, is pretty pretty easy. That's that's the the, the URL, and uh, so an engine or a platform, okay? And and it's both both. Why? Because this is the this is the engine, okay? 
This is the engine that you can you can embed in your in, in your Java application. But as we said before, it's also a platform because it wants to bring collaboration between different participants of the project. So business analysts don't they, they shouldn't need to to know Java and, and develop in Java or look at XML files, and that's why you will need a, a collaboration application. Um, Activity Explorer to see to see the the processes. Um, the, so the, the diagrams, see how many. We will talk about the the vocabulary now. How many instances of this process are running, and where where are they? Um, Modeler, it's a it's an Eclipse uh, based application for business analysts to, to draw these diagrams. Activity Designer is an Eclipse, also Eclipse based, but it's an Eclipse plugin for developers, basically. So you, you, have a, you can switch between seeing the diagram and seeing the XML, which uh, I do a lot, and we're developers afterwards, so uh, we feel at home with XML and, and code. But it allows you to have the, the two views. So it, it's one, one of the, the, the very good aspects is when when you're talking with a business analyst, hey, this, this doesn't work or we haven't implemented this correctly, then you can sit with them and you have a diagram to talk about. You don't have classes that call these other classes where the logic is actually buried and you don't see the wood for the trees. So th there is a need for, for that Java code. But, um, but something like activity allows you to code that higher logic, even test it. I will show that there are, you can write unit tests. And that's a piece of logic that it's there. And then you can implement also the, all the services, the payment service, all that stuff. Definitely, you have to implement it in Java. But you, you, can, you can bring together easily non-developers to, to what and, and have a common understanding. OK? Um, so this is, again, what I've already said, that uh, the different, different perspectives will, different, different participants in the project will be able to use some of these uh, some of these different tools around the engine, okay. Um, okay, so let's let's um, let's I will I will just stop the presentation and move and see and, and show you some of the some of the of the code. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce you three three very important participants in uh, in in activity. Just so you're not surprised, uh, one of them is Kermit. Uh, the other one is Gonzo, and the other one is Fozzy. They are the default uh, users who are defined in the engine, and uh, they will have different roles, and they are they are already predefined. So you can always log in as uh, Kermit, but with lowercase Kermit, Kermit, Gonzo, Gonzo, and Fozzy, 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 and they will have different roles. And I, we will see now here one one example why it's interesting to have different roles. Okay. Um, and just just to, to, to close this, uh, well, no, let's go for the demo. And let's see. Any questions so far? Okay. How do I do it? I, I, because I don't see that screen now. Turn on mirroring, maybe. Perfect, yeah. So I see the same. <clears throat> so um, first of all, actually, you would go to the activity, oops, the activity website. Okay, uh, download the latest, the latest version, which is here and zip it locally, and then uh, you have here, I will not do this for sh short, uh, for lack of time, but you have a 10 minute tutorial, which will explain to you how to set up the demo, the, un the, the untask that you have to write. I've, I've done that already here locally. Um, and that's why we have the activity explorer already running. Okay, I want to show you one example of, uh, Kermit, Kermit. This is the the one of the one of the parts of the activity platform. So this will allow you to see um, the processes that are deployed. We we see that these are several examples of processes. Okay, 
I'm going to I'm going to demo this vacation request because it's good to talk about the topic we all like about. Yeah? And uh, this is a manual task. And uh, OK, so uh, the, this is a start event here. And then uh, this is a human task. OK, uh, but let's, let's, uh, let's execute one example. And um, so as Kermit, as Kermit the Frog, let, let, me, let me go back to, to talk about some, uh, some vocabulary. So we have process definitions. A process definition would be one process, an XML, an XML file, which you can see as a diagram here. That's the definition of a process. A process instance is once you start that definition, we will have several instances of them. It's similar to a process definition is like a Java class, and a process instance would be a, 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 Java, a Java instance. Um, Here on the right side, you can you can start a process. Okay. Uh, sorry, we wanted to start the vacation request. So number of days. I, I want to take next week off. Twelve motivation. I need a break. Okay. I'm Kermit here. And what we just did when pressing the button is that we submitted the information in that form, okay? And a new instance was, was started. So now we should have uh, a new instance in the system. If we, if we visit the Explorer as a different user, go to the grade and I, I reload actually, We, we see here that you can, you can have several roles. You can define this. This is a, this is a default application. In your own application, which we I will show you later, uh, an application I, together with a friend, developed, um, you can use different groups. But also one, one important concept that you're already seeing is that the engine will take care of assigning things to do to different, you can, you, you can assign things to do to different groups or to different individuals. If you have to develop this logic yourself, for instance, in Java, that's work, OK? Um, so here we have uh, two tasks, because I was uh, trying this before. But as Gonzo the Great, we can see that Kermit would like to take five days of vacation because I, because I need a break, OK? So as Gonzo, I would claim the task, OK? So now it's assigned here to Gonzo, because I'm, I'm Gonzo here. And uh, I can approve it. And, and I say, great, enjoy. OK. So with this default application, you can already build the prototype of a, of a, of a product or an application that you would have to build. So very, very fast, you can define your own um, your own uh, groups, users, for management, but maybe it's not, it's not that nice if you show Kermit and Gonzo and Fossi, but you can, you can go here and uh, administer the, the uh, sorry, Kermit, for instance, Kermit is the, is, has a role of administrator, and that's why he sees here this manage, okay? And in the manage, you can even see the, 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 data ta the database tables where all the information is stored. One thing very nice with activity is that you can create these tables. They are not that many. Those who have, ex I, ha I also have experience of some years ago with JVPM, for instance. And um, what, because of using Hibernate, uh, activity uses MyBetis. Anybody here knows uh, Hibernate and MyBetis? OK, what are the, the main differences? Hibernate will sort of generate the SQL for you, whereas uh, MyBetis, you work with SQL, uh, with, with SQL statements. The big advantage is that integrating uh, MyBetis into anything is simpler, in the sense that you will have 
uh, database tables, a JDBC connection, and that's it, throw SQL statements to them. When you have Hibernate, and your application probably also is using uh, Hibernate as an implementation of JPA, uh, then it might be more difficult to integrate. And that's, that's what I, what, what, uh, I meant uh, before with uh, lightweight. Okay, there are these tables, and, um, and it's very easy to integrate. Uh, and here, as I mentioned before, you would have the different users, and, and you can define new, new users with, uh, with different groups. It's a, this is a very good tool for prototyping. Once, once you draw your diagram, and then you can, you can start with other participants in your project. You can start playing around with the, with the BPMN diagram. Mm, this will not work like this. Let's, let's do it some other, some other way. And that's, that's what this tool is uh, very good for. Um, here, we will be able to see the, the deployed processes. And tasks, the, tasks, uh, the, the concept of task would map to um, what we see here. Okay, once once a process reach, reaches a, a, a human activity, or also called a human task, and for instance, this this activity is assigned to a given group or a given user. Uh, the the activity engine provides an API method to say for this user, if I'm this user, what are my my tasks, what do I have to do? And that's, that's what would be listed here in, the, in this task, okay? Why you see here queued is because you can also query the engine and say, if I belong to uh, the management group, what tasks do I have to do? Why? Because there's, there are often times you, you will have a, t a team of people taking care, having a common responsibility. So you don't want to assign, in, in the process, you don't want to assign things to do to specific individuals, okay? Um, what's, what's the, the time? Uh, uh, 12.38. Okay. Um, this is one of the, wait, I already showed you. This is the Explorer, uh, good for, for uh, prototyping as first contact to, to, to run processes also, it's very good, the integration, in the sense that you will have, once you define the properties uh, to be filled in, it will, it will generate this form for you, so you don't have to write your, your JSF pages or, or whatever view technology that you use, okay? Um, any questions so far? I want to show now the code example. Okay, so um, before that, I wanted to point to, uh, this is the application that uh, we have developed, and it's called the job, the, the minus job announcement, uh, and it's available there online. And one, the, the idea for developing this application is that, uh, Business processes are usually seen in, in, in a bad light in the sense that, oh, this is our heavy, heavy technology or, or it's a, it has to be a very huge application in order to, for it to make sense. And, and we wanted to make an application which doesn't look like uh, it's driven by a process, okay? So um, here, for instance, this application implements the process I've been showing you now here, the, the, the job announcement, the process you've, you've been seeing. And and the different faces are, are shown here in the different tabs. And when you use it, um, it nowhere it appears that, that there is a process behind. Yes, sure, from a, from a user perspective, there are, there are some sequence of activities, as the definition uh, said before. There are some sequence of steps that you have to, to go through. And that's what, that's what these tabs uh, show you. Um, but on the other hand, it looks like a like a Java web application, okay? Um, here you will dis uh, we describe the three the three main characters and what they can do and what their 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 position in the the roles in the application are. 
Another thing I wanted to, uh, to mention here is the, the process that it supports. Okay? So this application executes actually this process and Kermit, Fozzy, or uh, Gonzo uh, switch in order to, to see uh, what they have to do. Also, one thing that we did is that in order for you not to have to log in and log out all the time, you can switch directly here, okay? So, for instance, if I start the application as uh, Gonzo and I say, I need We will see here the, the new job request. So it also plays the role of a manager, needs a new position to be filled in. And the, the advantage of this, this application, which uh, basically is taught, the source code is in GitHub, I will give you a reference. We, think we, we see this application as a kickstart for a BPMEN, uh, an activity-based uh, project. Um, so the aim is to make it easy. I mean, it's the first implementation, but our aim would be to uh, parameterize and, and modularize as much as possible. So when you have your process or that you, you want to build, you can reuse components like this table with the different faces and, and, the, and the forms. Um, so Gonzo has, has created this, uh, this uh, request for a job announcement. And here, one of the advantages that, for instance, FOSI works at the human resources and uh, Wait a minute. Why is it that, ah, exactly. Uh, open work. He has to describe, now it, got, it caught me a little bit of, of guard why it doesn't appear here. Uh, we, will, we will check it later. But in any case, Fozzy, looking at the, looking at the Looking at the previous um, <clears throat> Fossey belongs to this lane. It has the role of describing the, the, the job position. And Here it will describe, okay, what, what do they need, what, uh, so what 10 years experience, these skills, th that other skills. Also a Twitter message uh, we could write that will end up in Twitter. So there is an account. This is the account. So if we would if we would go back and say, for instance, 10 years or five years experience, okay, so Fozzy says, okay, I filled in my list of, of what we require for this position, okay? And uh, now Gonzo, who is the, the, the man at the originator, will log in and open work. He has to review the, the announcement or the, what, the, the work that Fozzy has done, which is only one line in this case. But uh, if he doesn't agree, he would put a comment here, okay? This is the comment from Fozzy. And let's say he says, uh, let's... Great, let's publish, okay. So, or he could also request, uh, request a change and then the process would go, would go here, back to, to FOSI, okay. In this case, uh, Gonzo approved it, so it's already here and when FOSI 
we, when we switch to, to FOSI, FOSI sees that he, he can publish it, okay? Open work basically gathers everything to do on these other tabs. So here, if we, if we would go to publish, we would see only this. FOSI can have other things to do here in previous phases of the, of the process. And finally, uh, FOSI says, okay, let's publish it. And uh, And that's the, so it's an example as a tying up with the previous payment, uh, payment possibilities. We have Twitter, Facebook, uh, we, we have not gotten, gotten, gotten it yet uh, to work because Facebook, I think it's, it, their business model is to change the privacy settings on a daily basis. So uh, we see it, but other people don't see it. So, so, but there is also a Facebook page that we, we, we will look into. At the same time, it's an example, so, so we've been integrated with, uh, with Twitter, and that's, that's uh, when you click when you click on the, on the link, you go back to the app, and that would be what, uh, what a, an interested person would be interested. Our next um, further work, we, we, if we have time, we would like to do is uh, You've seen this big, here, this big, uh, these big diagrams, and you've seen level one, level two, and level three. This is more detailed explained in the, in, in the book, but it's, it's an approach. You have to divide in different levels what, what your process is about. Why? Because uh, from, a, from a bigger perspective, from, from, from a customer, the customer will not be interested whether the publication will be in Twitter or in 10 other systems. So you need, you need to hide details, some details from, from the diagram. And that's also one, one very uh, powerful feature of BPMN 2.0 that allows you to hide different aspects and to have diagrams at different levels and showing less, so less detail. So the higher you go, in level one, there is less detail, more, and actually here we only implement uh, so we only implement one part. The the next the next part we want to implement is, uh, for instance, applying. Applying for this position, this position would start another process. So you would have an application with it, it doesn't have to be one process. You can have different processes that get started at different parts of of the whole functionality of the application, but. Tying up with what, how we started, we are dealing here with concepts that are closer, much closer to what we want to do. <coughs> okay? Yes, a big part of this functionality will have to be implemented in Java. And uh, at the same time, we are talking here about the bigger picture. And that's, that's important when you want to to talk with other participants as, as developers, as business analysts. Um, this is uh, Eclipse, okay? And this would be the, the designer view of the process, okay? This is the XML, so there is, there is uh, for every BPMN 2.0 process, there is the, the, the equivalent XML representation. That's also very important because not only there is a, 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 a diagram, a notation, a, a way of looking of how, how the diagram looks, but there is a rep an XML representation. And what's even more important, there is a specification about how this business process has to be executed. Okay, so what, what the semantics are of the different elements. So that means you actually uh, can execute this diagram, okay? And if we look at um, this process, for instance, talking about the different levels, this is the process that is driven here. So this, this activity, it's a call activity. You see the plus there? It will call a sub-process, and this sub-process is the publication process. And we can see it here. And this is Anzeige of Twitter, Publizieren. And if you go to the properties of this element, you will see here 
an expression that's basically a reference to a Java to a Java bean with some parameters. Okay. Job announcement service post to Twitter with the ID of the announcement. So there is Java code, but it allows you to focus on okay, what is the important thing? Everything is important, yes, but but sometimes the details that there is this expression in English not to see the wood for the trees. Okay, you are too too mixed in the in the details of the of the Java code, which are extremely important. We we all know about it as developers. Um, but you can have you can design this process. Put this expression here, okay? Put this expression here, and then uh, you can write a unit test that mocks those services, okay? And you can have a unit test. that says, for instance, process, claim process as uh, this role. And you can run this unit test, and that's a piece of logic that you, you have implemented, and it's tested. OK? And as long as you, you mock your services, and you can have a conversation at a higher level with business analysts and, and customers, and you can build your logic because because there is logic here i mean we all, all as developers know there is logic there is a decision point here there is uh, logic here and that logic has to be tested and uh, and one one very good thing about activity is that it allows you to write unit tests so you will see in the bpmn world or the bpm world there are two uh two big approaches it's the uh, or we're trying to, to replace the developers and we're going to make a super duper tool where everybody can draw their process. That's, that would be the, the zero code approach. Uh, activity is uh, together with another pro product that I'm going to mention now, Camunda Fox. They, they, they are developers themselves and uh, they understand that that's uh, snake oil, uh, you say in, in, in English. So, um, <coughs> The nitty-gritty details are always there, and that's what makes software development such a complex, uh, um, such a complex undertaking. I had prepared uh, another another uh, slide. Have you seen these seven minutes of terror? How how the the the, um, the curiosity landed in Mars? It, it's an amazing video. It's uh, they call it the seven minutes of terror because during seven minutes they didn't have any contact with the with the with the thing with curiosity that the, the rover that and, and the, all the other devices that were surrounding it and it had to make a, a lot of decisions how to land how to and it had to do those decisions by itself and um, I, I some 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 years ago I came up with this phrase because you probably heard it when when somebody tells you oh, how, can you implement this or that in two days probably uh, at least in the English speaking world they, they will tell you ah oh, but that's not rocket science science that how, how, how can it take so long and and sometimes uh, I say I wish I was a rocket scientist because then I would have seven minutes of terror and not long death marches like and <laughs> and and the, the reason is that the yes it's very complicated to land a rover in Mars but uh, at the same time Newton and Einstein that, that they were there actually I think they only they only need Newton uh, <coughs> To, to land uh, a rover there. So the rules are very well defined. Yes, the software at, in the video, if you look, if you look, look it up in, in YouTube, the seven minutes of terror, the, the, the amount, the, the, the millions of lines of code are, are extremely, uh, it's, it's, a, it's also very, um, I'm not taking value out of the project, but uh, software development for enterprises or for business, or it's, it's a much more blurry and much more uh, undefined field and that's what makes it complex complex in the sense of chaos theory and complexity so very little changes and, and the customer saying I know but we wanted actually this oh okay uh, this uh, okay mm. yeah but it's just a field yeah but uh, so, <laughs> so and that's what it's very important this exploring phase this unknown unknowns and using such a such a tool like a BPMN and uh, and activity helps you discover this very, very early 
Why? Because you can mock your service and you can focus on, on the bigger picture and, and when you have customers or, or, or business analysts looking at it, they will say, mm, no, but this doesn't make sense because actually um, the manager should be able actually to write the whole list of, uh, of requirements and not only the human resources in the example that I was showing you. So um, I think I should, uh, I just want to leave some time for the, for the um, so I will just finish uh, some, let's go here. Turn off mirroring. Any questions so far? Um, actually, I haven't gone through much of this. Uh, my address is there. Please, uh, I will publish this later. Any issues you, you find, you will find them. <laughs> In the sense that we all know, I mean, it's technology. So you're thinking, oh, but I'm following what it says here. And why is my... Uh, process not starting. So any b before getting frustrated, you just fire an email to me. Uh, there is also the, the forums, but I mean I'm fully open to. And I actually, I would appreciate it because uh, I'm already mixed with activity and and quite a while for for quite some time. And I don't see issues that uh, people coming in will find because I take things for granted. That's called implicit implicit knowledge. This uh, unknown unknowns that we mentioned before. Um, I said activity and friends. Ah, okay. These are the. This is the. the there is an activity in action book, which is uh, for the for developers like us. Uh, it will go through many, pretty much from a technical perspective, what activity can do, how you embed it, and um, also in the book they will mention one of the friends of activity, which is Camunda Fox. Okay, as, as I mentioned before, uh, Activity uh, is very well integrated with the Spring container. Um, what Camunda, Camunda does with Camunda Fox, they focus on the Java EE uh, ar architecture. Okay, not only this, but uh, as you've seen with open source projects, like for instance Apache Camel, I don't know if any guys, you know Apache Camel or other Apache or open source projects, there is the, the open source project you can download and do it your own. And then there are companies uh, that offer services, either development services or support services. That's also part of what Camunda does. Um, they also have a community edition, which you, you can download here. And also a big part of, uh, of Activity Core developers uh, work for, for Camunda. Uh, this is the, the showcase that I showed you. The, it's at github, github.complexity. I think it's the only project we have at the moment there. Um, feedback, highly appreciated. So clone it uh, and just uh, do whatever you want with it. And, but uh, we would like, if you do some interesting stuff, I mean, that we, we get to know it. But, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's also an open source license. Actually, not even, I think it's a attribution or I, I don't remember which license we chose. But uh, it's based. It's based on uh, not on activity, but on Camunda Fox. Why? Because we wanted we wanted to focus on the Java EE6 uh, architecture, and and uh, Camunda Fox is a is a very it's a it's a it offers you a lot a lot of things. So C, do you do you guys know CDI for instance? CDI would be a, similar to Spring uh, uh, on the on the Java EE. So they offer. A very polished integration in in that environment. Um, in the activity in action book, you will also see Camunda Fox reference. Okay, uh, what they, for instance, do is uh, at big companies you will have um, invoicing, uh, different different aspects, and you don't want to build a huge app for that. It would be good to to okay this this application has to to, to support this process, and this team at that division will do it. And this other application has to support this other process. So what Camunda Fox offers you is that the engine is already, they've integrated it in uh, JBoss and Glassfish. Actually, it's not. Uh, so they've, they've integrated with uh, JBoss and Glassfish. The next version will also have a support for uh, WebSphere. But they, the engine is already running there. And then you can deploy your, your applications that deploy a process on that engine. Okay. 
So your application does, that doesn't have to contain the whole, uh, well, the whole. It's actually a very small engine, but you, if you have 10 applications that, do, that support dif different processes, you can have them self-contained and all of them deploy on the same, on the same process engine. Uh, they also offer uh, monitoring tools, so operations, for instance, can see all the process instances from one engine, whereas if you would have uh, 10 applications with 10 different engines, you will have more overhead to support that. Okay, this is the job announcement. I already did a, a little bit of demo. So, conclu conclusions, uh, BPMN process diagrams and models actually, it should say models there, as a means of communication and sharing, sharing knowledge, that's, that's important in, in, in projects. They are executables in, in Activity and Camunda Fox. This is what I meant before with zero code and less code. And uh, remember, it, there is no silver bullet. So this is not going to solve every development issue that uh, you have at the moment. So thanks a lot. And uh, any, any questions? Discussion? Everybody wants to go to lunch. <laughs> OK. Well, thanks.